Okay, so the first thing we have to do is to set up Elasticsearch. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can either type Elasticsearch uh, install, and then the first link will basically take you to uh, the installation of Elasticsearch from the elastic.co website. And I think this is fine, but this is quite manual, and I invite you to do it if you want to have Elasticsearch on your local uh, machine, okay? But for me, I want to go a bit simpler on this one. And I actually found this really cool website called Bonsai. And if you type Bonsai Elasticsearch, the address is bonsai.io. And basically, this is hosted Elasticsearch. So that means that basically for free, you get a free node cluster. You don't have to set it up. It's perfectly set up. And the endpoints are available right away. And it's online. So to me, this looks more like a real world setup because we have something like an Elasticsearch somewhere on the machine on the web uh, to basically use. So I really think that this one is a much funner one to play with. But you're free to install Elasticsearch on your laptop or use Bonsai. If you use Bonsai, I'll just show you how to do it. You click on sign up and you put uh, your email address, etc., etc. You don't need to put your phone. Um, describe your project. You'll say it's a Kafka project for a POC. And then you confirm your email and you'll have your cluster. Okay, then you get to create your free sandbox cluster. And so you can create in many regions of the world. But what I want you to notice is that we want to have 6. something. So 6.0.1 or 6.2.3 whatever you can. So based on the region you select right here, choose one that's close to you, hopefully. You can or cannot use the version 6. So for me, if I use uh, EU West Ireland, I can choose 601, so that's great. And for this, I'll create um, a cluster called Kafka Course. Now I scroll down, and my plan is Sandbox, so it's a free plan. As you can see, I get a little bit of data. I get 10K documents to insert for free. So this is good enough for us, and I don't pay anything. Create Cluster. And here we have our cluster. So Elasticsearch is not something you should know for this course in depth, but basically it's a database and you can index documents and search them really efficiently and perform queries. It's quite a popular um, database to be learning a website on to search for elements, etc., etc. And so this is what we'll use. So our goal is to put all the Kafka data into um, this Elasticsearch cluster. And for this, we'll write a consumer. So now the important stuff that you have to do is to go to the access tab. Again, I'm showing you my full access, but this is private information. And at the end of this course, I will regenerate the credentials and revoke it. Basically, you won't be able to access my cluster using this. So we'll use this full access right here. Here's the Kafka, um, the Elasticsearch URL. And here we have the username and here we have the password. Okay, so this is what we want to do. And then we'll have uh, an interactive console if you want to just run some queries. It's just a REST API. So overall, we're good. We'll use Java for this. So the next thing I want to do is to set up our Java environments. So once you have Elasticsearch set up, follow me in the next lecture for setting up all the dependencies.